Well, welcome back to the channel, my YouTube family, and welcome back to more tips and tricks on Generation Zero. And now we are going to do a Know Your Enemy Part 2. We're going to go work, work through a whole lot of different strategies for killing some of the enemies. We even might do a Part 3 with the harder enemies today. We'll see how we go. Let's do it! Okay, so here are the uh, classes that we um, that we talked about last week and we're going to go through them from the weakest through to the uh, the hardest to kill and I'm not sure whether I'll just see how long it will take me to get through the top three I might have to do a part three and cover the the, the three har the harvesters the tanks and uh, the hunters in a separate video we'll just see how we go um, for time so I'm going to start with the uh, seekers today and um, yeah, these guys are pretty easy to take care of and um, really, depending on what you're using, is going to uh, dictate how you're going to take these guys down. As you know, the Seekers are just going to roam around all over the place. So my best method and the one I'm showing you now is um, using either an assault rifle, SMG or a sniper rifle and basically just shoot the thrusters, that's the easiest way of bringing them down as soon as you get the thrusters, and it can be a little bit tricky if they're moving around once you get their, their thrusters, uh, they're, they're just going to go down uh, at least for the, mil the prototype and military variants um, you can also, if you want to get up close and personal use a shotgun, these guys don't shoot back at you so there's, there's no real kind of risk in doing that other weak points of the alarm module on the top in the head so all or any of those will take these guys down it does say that you can melee these things I've never tried to melee them so um, if, if you're a melee if you're running a melee character and you've tried that and it's worked let me know in the comments down below okay so secondly and probably the most annoying um, enemy in the game but also they're not that hard to take care of is uh, the ticks Ticks are pretty safe, straightforward, just shoot them, they, they don't uh, need much damage to kill them. Um, my recommendation is a shotgun or a pistol for these guys. Um, obviously as you get to the Phoenix class they might have a little bit more armour, but again shotguns, pistols will take care of them pretty quickly. The ones that jump up towards you, one of the things that you can do if you can just step a little bit back so they jump in front of you, one of the techniques that I use is then to push slightly forward towards them after they land and uh, you'll find you'll get on target very very quickly with them, but these guys uh, try and uh, sound over them so that you can hear them and try and figure out where they are, sneak up on them and shoot them before they've got a chance to move. Uh, also Another technique I spoke about last week is the fact that they, um, if they stand in the same spot after they've engaged um, with you, if they're in the same spot after a while, they'll just explode. So, um, yeah, pretty si simple and straightforward to take care of. Okay, so that's the two uh, easy ones out of the way. And um, now for the fun stuff. So... Runners, there's a whole lot of things that you can do with runners and uh, I'll go through as many as I can now. But runners you can do, you, there's a whole lot of strategies you can employ to get rid of these guys. Depending on what your playstyle is and again just how confident you are at um, engaging with enemies or whether you want to take more of a stealthy approach. So let's uh, have a look at what we can do with these guys and um, and then we'll show you what we can use to get rid of them. So let's start off with their uh, weak points and pretty much uh, the weak points are in orange here. Either the fuel tank that sits on the top. Now as you go up through the classes the that fuel tank might be protected by some armour and it's the most obvious uh, spot to shoot them at. The second most obvious spot, um, and these are probably the two that I use the most, is the head, as you can see in orange there. And then thirdly, um, one of the things that you can do if you've got a bunch of them, and if you feel uh, you're accurate enough, is to actually shoot their weapon off. Um, and if you're going to use that weapon strategy, I'd suggest you do that first before you try 
the other two points. So I'm about to get in a fight with a runner and I'm going to show you just um, if you decide to go for this weapon you, you'll you see um, it is a very kind of small hitbox but um, luckily with this runner he was on his own and I was able to take his weapon off real quick. Now there is a hunter close by and because I've taken the runner's uh, weapon away it is no longer a threat to me other than thrusting towards me so that is uh, if you're going to use the weapon strategy that's how to do it however in 99 percent of the cases i'm pretty much aiming for either the head or usually the fuel tank is the one that i always go for uh, it's the most obvious it's the biggest target as far as i'm concerned if you aim for the head and your your rifle goes up or whatever gun you're using goes up then you can quite easily it will hit the uh, fuel tank but either or um, pretty good uh, strategies to employ with both of these and I don't think you have to worry about what kind of guns shotguns are extremely effective with these guys but you as, as you might have seen in the last couple of videos there's a, a whole range of guns that will take these guys down depending on what class you're um, coming up against so now for the fun stuff, you can see I'm pinned down here by a couple of runners and I'm going to show you these EMP boxes or electrical boxes inside a house and how effective they can be at um, taking runners down. So you can see I quite clearly aimed for the fuel tank. This is the AK-47 equivalent of a uh, gun or the AI-76 in the game. And I'm going to go around the side of this, uh, this shed in a second and you'll see there's a white box on the uh, on the wall there and I'm going to shoot that and you, it will have an EMP uh, effect on this runner it might take a couple of shots one two three four there it goes and you can see that's shut the thing down made it immobile it's still alive but then you can just run up and shoot it just like that now if you want to really have some fun, I'm a, I'll show you um, how to use fireworks. Fireworks seems to stun these guys. Fireworks and all kinds of stuff we're going to use here to, to take these guys down. We're going to have a whole lot of fun with them. Okay, so we're going to tempt these guys in. Just going to lay a little bit of a track. There's one, two, three, about four or five of them there. Um, so we've got to let them know where we are. We've got to put the uh, grab the fireworks and put them into the right slot. You, if you're doing this, you might already have this set up, so you you'll know what you want to use. If you're not sure how all these different elements work, like fireworks and um, flares and stuff. Watch my um, resources video; it explains that in quite a bit of detail. I don't know where that firework went. Oh crap! This guy is serious about his business. Okay, let's just get rid of this guy first. And you can see our head to fuel tank, very effective. Now let's check this firework out, like this. And hop back in here. You can see this guy's gonna come around, he's gonna go, hang on, what's that? And they're actually firing at the firework, look at this. And it, I'm sure it plays havoc with their, their electrics because they seem a lot easier to kill after a firework's been thrown if it's directly around them. So we'll just finish these guys off and we're good to go. Okay, there you go. So this time we're kind of stuck in this uh, shipping container and you can see these are obviously military grade uh, runners and you know, health's not good and we're kind of stuck in here so I'm going to employ a couple of strategies here, so if you're in a tight corner like this and you've got some resources to play around with... Oh! Crap! Get off me! Um, you can try this. So you see there's still a couple around, so I'll, I'll go into my inventory and see what, what have I got. What have, what have I got to use here? And I find um, that I have an explosive gas tank, so that's perfect. Um, and we also have an emergency flow, so I'm going to place the gas tank... Um, down there, like that. The, the, the difficulty here is getting it placed in the right position. You can't actually throw these. So we're going to place it um, about... There it is, you can see it now. And now what we've got to do is try and tempt them in. So they, for some reason they're not, they're not coming 
they're not running towards me. So we're going to pick up an emergency flare in a second. And we're going to use that to, to lure them in, so to speak. There we go. And again, if you're using this strategy, you can be thinking ahead of time and using a couple of those slots up. Um, there we go. Bring them in. Come on. There you go. Boom. Gone. I'm still alive, so I'm good. And, they, and there we go. That runner is gone. So as you can see, you can have a lot of fun um, trying to uh, outwit and outplay these runners. They aren't overly um, difficult to kill, to be honest. And uh, yeah, as long as you know where the weak spots are, um, you shouldn't have any dramas at all. Okay, moving on to my very favourite robots in the game to go head to head with, and that's the uh, Hunters. Um, you can see the weak points here, they've got four weak points, pretty much the same as the runners. The fuel tank, which is located round the back, uh, the weapon, the head, and then those shoulder boxes there, each side of the head. Um, so there's four weak points you can be aiming at. Pretty much for me, I'm aiming at the head majority of the time, and possibly those shoulder boxes. Um, and I find shotguns or assault rifles SMGs will take care of these guys pretty pretty well and um, you don't have too many dramas But these little suckers are a bit sneaky and they're a bit quick So you, you know you need to be on your toes. So I pretty much employ a um, a strategy of uh, being in buildings when these guys come around and then um, uh, ducking and diving that way so there's one thing that these guys do that you might not be fully aware of um, and you can use it to your advantage. So this guy just sitting in here, I don't know what the heck he's doing, but we're going to shoot that tank on the back. You can see the, the gas tank just briefly. And we're going to just upset him. I'm going to put a full clip into him. I'm going to upset him because we want him to come out and join us. Here he comes. Now, watch as he, he runs towards me. He will jump over you. You see that happening? You run towards him. You can shoot him in the back and take him out very, very quickly. So I'm going to play that clip again and I'm going to slow it down so that you might have missed that because it was very, very quick. But the strategy is, as they're trying to, trying to run towards you, run back at them and they'll jump over the top of you. So in the same way as we showed you with the runners, all the tools that we showed you to um, engage the runners and try and uh, kill the runners will work with the hunters. You can also use grenades are very effective and um, also those um, uh, ground mines, land mines will work on them. Um, fireworks, all kinds of stuff. There's there's all kinds of strategies you can employ on these guys, but I really like to be a bit more strategic when I'm trying to get these guys be in buildings and duck in and out of cover um, to take care of them. So let's uh, move on to the hunters, and uh, these guys uh, were stepping up a notch, it's fair to say, with these guys. So what I suggest you use when you're at, um, approaching these guys have advanced med kits on hand have plenty of standard or uh, sorry simple med kits as well because you're going to be eating them like smarties and um, yeah these guys will always have um, as their companions hunters uh, hanging around so be prepared uh, usually depending on what you're tackling they'll have one hunter or couple hunters escorting them and then when you kill that the initial hunters they'll spawn some more sounds fantastic fun okay so on to the weak spots so the center point is the center pod rather is a weak point the missile pods you should certainly be um, aiming for and the fuel cells on the back you can also um, aim for the four legs um, and that will also help to take them down now this is going to take a while but we're going to show you bringing a military uh, harvester down and boy oh boy this is quite the um, quite the battle so you can see I've got it at quite a distance here military class harvester 100% health the biggest problem when you're trying to 
to kill these guys is not so much the harvester it's the other enemies that are around and you can see there's even a runner there but the, there is said military um, military hunter now we're going to try and get across to that grassy knoll so I'm going to cut forward once we get over there and for this I'm going to use um, armor piercing bullets in the um, 50 cal and I'm going to use the SMG KISP and you can see there's all kinds of bad guys around and if, if you if you stray too far they are all going to come and help you so there's the fuel tank I'm going to take a couple of hits actually we'll get quite a number of hits in here before they, they react um, you can see the missile ta turrets on the back there they should also be aiming for them if you can knock those out it will help you a lot and he's very slow to react and um, you can see he's, be, he's been very, very slow. Now, you got to time this. It's time to move because he's going to send a missile barrage my way. You can see it. Here it comes. It's not too hard to avoid. Uh, what the uh, biggest problem is, once everybody else gets involved, then, yeah, you're going to be busy. So, I'd suggest... Ooh, I didn't get out of the way that time, though. Um, you're going to need some adrenaline shots, by the way. Um, or have or try and do this close to a safe house so you can spawn and come back. Um, now you're going to need cover. If you're not, if you don't have cover anywhere, I wouldn't even take on this fight. Here come the um, here come his companions, the two hunters that we saw were just kind of guarding them. So I'm going to back right off here, and uh, I'm just going to use this hill to my advantage. It's sometimes hard to figure out where they're actually killing you from or shooting you from at times. Healing up. Healing up. Oh my goodness. Where is he there? Okay, so now I've identified where they are. I'm going to heal up. I'm going to use the cover effectively. And this is what I suggest you do. You've got to use cover. And you'll see when we get to the tanks, even more so cover is just key taking these guys down okay so we dealt with him okay so that's one down let's take the time to heal the reason I've got advanced med kits is they will heal you quicker and it will give you much more um, health uh, quicker so we've lost sight of this guy again so we're just going to go back and forward and try and figure out where the heck he is there he is just so right there put a heap of bullets into him Fifty cal does well, but I shouldn't have done this because I'm wasting bullets. Actually, we need these bullets for the big guy. So I see my health's pretty low now. But look how much, how quickly that advanced med kit um, helps you out. Here he comes. Now I have a feeling there's another guy here. I have a feeling there's actually three of these guys. I've killed two. I only saw two, and somebody sees me here. Now. I'm thinking maybe that's another guy, so I'm looking around, but it potentially is uh, is the harvester that's that's seeing me now. Here is the difficult part. I struggle to find the harvester here. I know that sounds weird, but I, I lost sight of it. There he is. Okay, he's in the field, so he's moving away from me again. We get a couple of great shots in, and that done a lot of damage. I'm really targeting that fuel cell as much as possible. But he's going to start spawning some more uh, hunters in a minute. So let's take the time to reload. And um, yeah. Okay, so we've taken the time to reload. We're going to reposition and see if we can get... And I suggest you, this is why cover is important. I'm going to go central mass and see if I can get into his fuel cells there. Now, headphones are real important because once those hunters do spawn in, you'll hear them coming. Just heal up. And, you know, the tactic here is to make sure I can hear hunters. The tactic here is to make sure that you're moving to different positions so it, it doesn't kind of target in on you, doesn't know exactly where you are, and you can see we're in behind it. I'm going to take my time here because it doesn't know where I am. I 
I gotta say that I'd suggest that the missile turrets are probably worth hitting more than the fuel cells. The fuel cells seem to be a bit difficult to hit. So now, oh, that's where we are. Oh, look at that. <laughs> where did you come from? Oh no! He tried to stab me, he did try to jump on me. And there's another guy to my left. Okay. Give him as much as we can. Oh! Crap! Oh, he's got ticks. He's just released ticks too, which doesn't help. And I actually think the ticks got me that time. That was a... Let's heal. You can see they're not too hard. That was a tick we got. Um, they're not too hard to take care of these guys once you're confident. Um, where is this tick? Where's he going? Loot this guy. Okay. Do a little bit of looting. And we'll get back and find uh, the said harvester. There he is. Just saw him. So I'll try and get round behind him as much as possible. And we're going to grenade him. We're going to use grenades to finish him off here. I'm going to give him a little bit more pepper. And then we're going to chuck grenades at him. He's going to actually advance towards us. Now, we're in a good position. We're in a strong position. Should be able to finish him off here. Because there's nobody. He's not going to spawn any more um, friends. And so I'm taking my time. Here we go, we'll just chuck grenades at him, why not? That stopped him in his tracks. That's it, got him. And that's how you take down a harvester. Takes a bit of time, takes a bit of patience, but you'll get there. So you've done well so far. We've progressed up through all the different enemies. And now it is time to take on the big boy. Let's take on the second most heavily armoured and armed machine in the game. Apart from the Reaper. And that is the tank. And you'll know these guys. You'll hear them coming from mile off. Because it emits these loud thumps. 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 Um... So let's have a wee look at their, their weak points and then we will get into the footage where I'll show you first of all what not to do and secondly of, of all how I, at least I approach um, taking these big boys down. So okay, as far as weak uh, points go, these guys are a little bit different to what you've um, dealt with so far. So the primary weapon, shoot that off, that will, um, that will help you a heck of a lot. Um, uh, in uh, at least taking damage from the big boy the main body above the weapons array um, it's heavily armoured but once you get the armour plate off it's a nice little soft spot the cylinders located on the back of the machine above the feet are critical spots so have a wee go at that a high, po high powered rifle and then the hinges that are located near the model number can cripple the tank High voltage sign between the top left hinge is also a critical hit point. So, whole lot of places to aim for. Sounds easy. It, it isn't. Um, these guys will emit ticks. Generally, they all come. I found they generally come with a seeker. But you might also find that you're going to come up against um, runners with these guys as well. So let's go across to the footage and let's get busy in killing a tank. Thank you very much. So I'm not in the ideal spot here. I'm out in the open, which is not a great thing to be, but I, it, it is a tactic for me to um, to try and lure this guy back to where I need him to be. So I could, I guess I could have shot at him a little bit. You can see there's a little tank on the back, a little fuel tank on the back there. It's worth targeting. Um, but this is not the ideal situation to have this guy in. Um, and these, that, that's like chucking a pea. <laughs> that did absolutely nothing you can see how quickly these guys are going to take you down now I wanted to show you this just to give you an idea of what not to do and don't chuck a grenade away I'm going to run away I'm going to go down here and it's going to spawn me back at a base now I, I, I deliberately um, 
I deliberately tried to find one of these guys. You can see off to the left there is where I'm going to spawn. But I deliberately tried to get this guy close to where I was going to spawn because I want to get in cover. Now, the runners have come down to say hello. They've spawned in. They're his protectors. So we're going to take care of them real quick like. Quick little bit of loot. Now, you can see the big boy's still up there. So we've got to tempt him down in here. And this is how I would um, suggest that you approach these guys have cover um, preparation before this just while we're waiting for this guy to come down um, make sure you've got a heap of um, a heap of uh, simple med kits and advanced or standard med kits I'd suggest an assault rifle SMG and or and a, if you've got the 50 cal um, weapon certainly grab the 50 cal um, weapon because that'll um, that'll help you out here a lot and take cover and just kind of vary where you're at, you are in cover very, it's very similar to what we did with the tank the cover here is a little bit more forgiving so we can um, we can sort of um, dodge up there's a lot to be, cover to hide behind here and so he doesn't he can't kind of lock in on a target and I'm just going to try and aim at that central mass there and just keep peppering them now you're going to get runners come down and say hello again to you so i'll just keep repositioning because i'll oh because i want them to come in and keep coming towards me and um, that barrage is hard to deal with sometimes but um try and get yourself and you'll see i do find a position here where um i can get some protection which is behind this track here because that volley of rockets is going to come in and I'm protected. So I'm not going to take too much damage. Again, I'm using uh, armor-piercing 50 cal bullets to start with. I think I have to switch over to FMG because I run out of them. But that's what I would, um, I would suggest you do. Just run in here and pr get protected. I think I hear a runner or something coming. Some reason why I actually went back in there. And then we're going to keep ducking behind this truck. FYI, you can see there's an, actually another one up on the top of the hill there. You might have just got a glimpse of its legs. Oof. Um, yeah, what I was going to say is look at the thing first before you aim in. Otherwise, you're going to do what I did and lose it as you're scoping in. Here we go, here's another barrage. Oh, that is not good. We're going to heal up. So luckily this base was here. It's it's a very good cover, but obviously you're not going to have the luxury of having this much cover. But you need to find some kind of cover. That I've used a rock in the past to take these guys down, kind of back and forward behind a rock. Um, just any kind of cover and he's nearly done actually you can see he's smoking so I'm gonna finish him up with the the kisp just gonna absolutely um, hammer him with bullets it took me I'm, I'm gonna say about 400 SMG bullets and I don't know how many how many uh, 50 cal bullets so these guys take a lot of punishment before you can take them down and this is only a prototype so this is the lowest level So I think I'll, I'll finish him off with the Kisp. Yep. I'm waiting for the, the rocket barrage. As you can see, that's what I'm trying to do. And this should just about do it. It's a full clip I've put into him. Back behind the truck. Wait to see if he fires anything. Oh. Oh. And the runner takes me down. That'd be right. Doing so well against the big boy and the runner takes me down. We have our Smarties, which are all otherwise known as simple first aid kits. Like I said, have a heap of them because you'll need them. And hopefully we were getting pretty close to taking this bad boy down. There you go. And that's how you take a, down a tank. Thank you very much. And these guys are worth it because they give you a ton of loot. So there you go, that's a 
two-parter on how to kill your enemies. I hope it's given you some ideas and strategies to play around with. I had a heck of a lot of fun doing this video. I had to go out and actually um, start to figure out some strategies and find the bigger guys. And um, yeah, died a lot, but had a lot of fun. If you enjoyed the video and it's been useful, please let me know down in the comments. A like rate is always appreciated. And we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!